Kaan Shalom. All praise to Yahweh by Shimeo Shai by Shnu Kakadash. The Ba'onus to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing this truth in sincerity. So I woke up and, um, you know, I was, I was still um, meditating about the whole situation concerning uh, Rep the News, concerning his, uh, his, his doctrine, the, thing, the, the things that he's teaching, you know, the Yahweh Shai not being the mediator, not believing in the mediator. You know, the doctrine concerning um, everybody that is a sinner is going gonna, is gonna to burn in hell, which is a doctrine where he's teaching that there is no mercy. And the way how he's actually uh, speaking and declaring, he's declaring as if he is without sin. So everybody needs to follow and walk in the footsteps of him because he is the only one apparently without sin upon this earth and he can guide you in what to do in order to be saved. I believe he's also teaching that Esau is not uh, the red devil upon this earth. There are many, many um, straight up bugged out things in his, in his doctrine which is which is the road towards destruction, man. So this video is going to be a message, a message to the congregation of uh, Rep the News in understanding that this is not the way. You know, the Lord, the Lord is putting a judgment on a false prophet for, for leading you on a road where you actually blaspheme him, you show hate towards the Most High, um, but you're being convinced to think that this is the right way. There's a scripture speaking about it in the book of uh, Prophets 14 and 12. It says, There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If this man does not repent, he can expect death. You know, but if it is the will of the Most High for this man to repent, he can be saved. But now I want to focus on the congregation of uh, Rep the News because when you go into videos, for example, when you go when you go to this video where you had this daughter, where you had his daughter, um, you know, pouring her heart out about what has been happening and what is going on with her with her father, you see the amount of uh, abuse first of all. A lot of people checking it out, also others from uh, other camps. So, but the comments, the comments that have been placed right now are 692. And if you go to these comments, you will find out that these are predominantly women. Predominantly women are part of his congregation. And while I was going to this, scrolling to it, you see people, all praises, glory to the Most High, walking and believing in the doctrine where he is teaching that the the redeemer is not to be praised or not to be believed and they they exclude yahweh shai the redeemer the beloved son of the most high so when these people are actually uh making statements like you have to pray and trust in the lord their praise is not reaching the heavenly father man this is this is this is the the man <laughs> there's a scripture where it says the prayer of the wicked Let's get that, man. People don't seem to understand what they do, man. The prayer, uh, the prayer of the wicked is an abomination. Let's get that. They're praying, but their prayers is not being heard by the Lord, man. It is an abomination. It is a sacrifice which is to be compared unto the sacrifice which Cain made unto the Most High. The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 8, The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. If you, if you come into the truth and you reach the Most High in order, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yashai, the Heavenly Father will answer your prayers. But if you're coming in in the wrong way, then the Heavenly Father is not going to listen to your prayer. He's not going to answer it, man. The Most High hears everything. He sees everything. But he's not going to answer the prayers of those who are not coming in the right way because 
you you are blaspheming against the most high you show hate towards the most high and you deny the heavenly father's beloved son man the book of prophets 28 verse 9 he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law even his prayer shall be abomination you know and that's the case that's the case with this man because Yahweh Shai is the prime example of walking and he is, he is the perfection of the law. He is our example. You see? So when you deny Yahweh Shai, you, you make your, your own prayer, man. The own prayer is an abomination. And like I said, when you scroll through all these things, you see that predominantly you see comments from females, man, women. Women, women, women. And Eve was, Eve was what? Eve was tricked by the serpent, right? And the understanding of this doctrine, it is a serpent. It is the Antichrist doctrine. You're denying the Redeemer. This is an Antichrist doctrine, man. Let's get that scripture where it speaks about in, um, in 2 Corinthians. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11 verse... Uh, Verse 3, but I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Mashiach. You see, and that's why you see that a lot of these females are they're, they're very easily enticed to believe in a doctrine that is completely against the Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is the, this is the Antichrist doctrine. Let's get that scripture, man. This is the Antichrist doctrine, man. And if these people don't repent, the Lord is going to cause you to end up in the same fate as how this man is right now laying in the hospital in a critical condition. Ask yourself if you want that, man. The book of 1 John, chapter 1, first, uh, chapter 2, verse 22. Who is a liar, but he that denied that Yahweh Shai is the Mashiach. He is the Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son, and that's what they do. They deny they, they want to reach the Father by denying the Son, which is mission impossible. You can't reach the Most High and uh, 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 deny the Heavenly Father's beloved Son. Whosoever denied the Son, the same had not the Father. If you deny the Son, you don't have the Father. You might be convinced and tricked and deceived, you know, by seducing spirits to think that you got the Father, but you're not in the Father. You deny the Son, so you, you, don't, you can't reach the Father, man. But he that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. Only if you acknowledge the only if you acknowledge the Son, you got the Father. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But yet you got this man teaching about you, you can just cut off Yahweh Shai and just reach the most high, the heavenly father without him. This is this is a very a very uh, dangerous thing that is being done on this earth by this by this man teaching about uh, uh, um, everybody that is a sinner is going is going to burn you can't you can't be saved. So in his doctrine, there is no form of mercy. Everybody then everybody is going to die. Everybody is going to hell because everybody on this earth has committed sin. And even unto this very day, we commit sin. You are not perfect. No one upon this earth is perfect without sin. You can't make a statement like that. But yet, he's doing it without, without any form of fear. He's making this statement and acting as if he is truly without sin. And then he tries to instruct people in, in, in following him in how to be cleansed and how to be saved. While this whole doctrine is out of, out of this bugged out madness, man. Bugged out madness. There's a scripture where it speaks about this man. Huh, the, the scripture speaks about it in the book of Philippians. The book of Philippians chapter 3. Oh, let me see where it is. Here it is. Let me start at verse 17. The book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 17. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an, an, an example. You know, because we have to walk in our example, man. Let's go to the book of, uh, um, let me see, where is it? Is it in 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians 11. 
Firstborn, be followers of me, even as I am also of Mashiach, Yahushai. You see, this is, the, this is a Christian order. And what does the word Christian mean? A follower of the Redeemer. That's the true meaning of a Christian. We are the true Christians, the true followers of the Redeemer. And we follow the Lord and we, and we follow in, 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 we worship the Most High in spirit and in truth. Let's get that. We follow and we worship the Most High in spirit and in truth. Uh, John 4 and 22, ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And the truth is, Yahweh Shai is the beloved son, the mediator, the savior, the one who who made it possible, the Heavenly Father who made it possible through His Son to be cleansed from your sins and to receive mercy, to receive forgiveness of your sins. That is the truth. That is part of the truth. Yahweh Shai being the, the, the spirit of prophecy. What about prophecy? What about the mark of the beast? What about the times that we're living in? What about our Savior, man? What about the last days? What about the one that is ruling upon this earth? Who is ruling in this present empire, man? When you when you when you will ask, uh, uh, well, in this case we can't ask him because he is in a critical condition. But if you would go to those people right now here in the comment board, his congregation, are they known with what the prophecy is in this present time? Are they aware of what the mark of the beast is and how the devil is going to come down with great wrath upon them? Are they aware of Jacob's trouble? The one who is feeding them, was feeding them, is now uh, 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 fallen off. And who is feeding these sheep? What is this congregation doing right now? Sitting still. Who is guiding them? And they haven't been guided in the right way. Because the scripture says, if the blind lead the blind. Let's get that, man. They have been led by a blind man. A man who does not know the scriptures. Blind lead the blind. This man does not know the scriptures, but yet he is, he is, he is magnifying himself against the, the a true established man by the Heavenly Father on this earth, speaking, speaking uh, a stout words, and we're going to get those scriptures as well, man, speaking things which are hard to bear, not only about the Most High, not only about the Redeemer, but also about the true man, the true man of the Heavenly Father, the true a servant of the Most High. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind. They shall both fall into a ditch. This man is leading people towards destruction man. People are being led towards destruction. And they and they seem to, to they seem to believe. And to think that they are walking upon the right path. While they are while heading towards destruction man. So back in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 17. We have, the, we have the true leaders, man. The true leaders. And I say it again. And I will say it again. In the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. The true leaders are the apostles from Great Millstone. You better follow right leadership. And reach salvation. Or you go up against the established order. And you might. And, and the chance is most definitely you're going to be destroyed, man. Don't think that you can just teach things that is completely off bogged out doctrines and think that the heavenly father is just going to suffer you to continue with misleading and causing causing his people to be destroyed man here you here you got the our people those dry bones in a, in a those dead bones in the valley of in the valley uh, um and that valley which needs to be quickened and which needs life here we are busy starting with the apostles from great millstone till on down the young the young brothers the the, the elder bishops and all of them who enter into this truth being occupied in healing and bringing our people back, guiding them according to the instructions of the Most High. Busy with the healing process, Yahweh Shai being the physician. We are busy with doing what we need to do. But then you got then you got individuals like a Reb the News, and many of them are on this earth, teaching doctrines, teaching things which they ought not to teach. Destroying people, man. Destroying people and and, and now they look up strange when when that which you could expect, that which you could forecast is falling upon them and then they make a request for like pray for them 
pray for, pray for this man. While this man was busy with scoffing, I saw videos, I, I, I see videos and I'm like, yo, I haven't seen this. Because I'm, I'm not busy with these type of people, man. My mind is continually focused on feeding the flock, edifying, trying to heal and protect, guide the people, prophesying about the destruction that is about to come, preparing our people about what is about to take place. But now I see videos about how this man is speaking evil and saying just just total madness about about the uh, the leadership, the heads of, of Great Millstone. And the madness is just keep it is flowing. Everything is coming out, man. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that takes place starting with the elder apostles from Great Millstone till on down. Teaching the sound doctrine. That's a key thing. Teaching sound doctrine. You can't teach whatever you think. Bringing it. You know, making up things. Adding on to the scriptures. You can't do these things. Without without thinking. Without thinking that there will be no consequences onto your, onto your actions, man. So back in the book of Philippians chapter 3. So those are examples. Yahweh Shai, the true apostles, the true leaders, the true prophets. Those are examples. We need to walk in their footsteps, man. It says in verse 18, For many, many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, they are the enemies of the cross of Mashiach. And that's Reb the News. Reb the News is the enemy of the cross. He's denying the Lord, but not only denying the Lord, he's warring against the Lord. This is, this is, this is a resistance, man. Let's get it in the book of 1 Timothy. This is resistance. And his whole congregation is being is being instructed to become a resistance against the redeemer. And you don't want to resist the heavenly Father, man. You don't you don't want to be the one who is fighting against the Most High and being convinced in your mind, being seduced to believe that you're on the side of the Most High while you're actually offending and fighting against the Most High. The book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse eighteen. Now, as Genesis and James were withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. They resist the truth. Rep the news resists the truth. He is teaching his congregation to resist the truth, to mock, to scorn. You know, to speak, to speak in a, to speak in a condescending way towards towards others who who acknowledge that they are in sin. If you want to say that you are without sin and, and portray yourself without sin, you will stay in that sin. You are not cleaning yourself. You will you will die in your sin. Man of corrupt mind, and it's a corrupt mind. A reprobate concerning the faith. You 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 are not truly about this. You are not in it. You are a hypocrite. An actor. A person who is acting as if he is without sin. Here we are living in a wicked world where you got so many things. You know, ease of putting putting pork in whatever thing that is taking place. How can you be without without being defiled or sin? You know? The woman when she is on a period and she goes sit down somewhere. If she touches something and you and you touch it, it makes you it makes you unclean. So how can you even? It, it, it is unbelievable how you got people making statements, claims, but that's pride, you know, pride and the lack of understanding, uh, uh, a lack of understanding, a lack of wisdom and pride. And of course, it's that same spirit that you will see continually in in those who have this thing. It's that hate towards camps. That hate towards an establishment, the order of the Most High. Those people, you 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 continually hear them in a mind state and in a doctrine with which you think like you are so far off that you don't even understand how far off you are. But you're convinced that you're doing the right thing. I believe in one of his videos he made a statement calling others who believe in Yahweh Ba Shemeshai idolatrous man. Well, the reality is that if a person is denying Yahweh Shai. And things that he's calling and worshiping the Most High. That is a state of idolatry, man. That's the state of this world. An Antichrist is an, uh, is an, is an idolatrous person, man. But yet, he is convinced and he's convincing his congregation in this deadly, destructive uh, conduct upon this earth, man. It says, But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. Yeah, it's folly. It's foolishness, man. Talking about the hell doctrine, talking about sinners are going to burn. Teaching a doctrine where there is no mercy. Speaking in a way as if he is without sin. 
that, that's that's it's foolishness and it's being made manifest all over Israel but yet the congregation what is the congregation going to do are they going to sit wait still be in a spirit like let's pray to the all uh, the most high God denying the Lord Yahweh Shai and thinking and thinking that this is going to get better even even if he gets better then this is a heavy warning towards him and his congregation of the Most High. A heavy warning towards him and his congregation from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Get right, stop this madness, repent. And his congregation needs to repent. Because if they don't repent, the Lord, the Lord will destroy you, man. The Lord will destroy you in the book of Ezekiel 14. The book of, uh, here you see it, here you see it, you know, the book of uh, Ezekiel 14, I believe it starts around um, 9. It says, if the prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing, the hell doctrine, Yahweh Shai is not the son of the beloved, the, the, the beloved son of the most high. That is a state of being deceived, man. You know, you, you have the, like the elder apostle Aramlap. He spoke about it, seducing, seducing, seducing spirits, seducing spirits. First uh, Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, now the spirit speaketh expressly, then in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, the estate that this man is in. And to believe and to be convinced that Yahweh Shai is not the mediator, not the beloved son of the Most High, not the Messiah, not the Savior, not the one where we can cleanse ourselves and to be brought back onto the Most High, the adoption. That is a seducing spirit. It is a doctrine of devils, a doctrine of deceit, of deceit, man, a deceitful doctrine. It is a hopeless doctrine. Like, yo, so everybody is going to burn, man. Everybody is going to burn with the understanding and what he's saying. Everybody will be burning, man. There's no hope. But then again, in one of the videos, I believe one of the brothers was posting it and, and playing it. Then he said, then he was explaining how you could be safe. So he knows the only, he's the only way to, to be safe. He will instruct you in how to be saved from this estate. And yet denying the Lord. So we understand why things happen and why the Lord is bringing judgment upon, upon people, man. It's as speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a, what, with a hot iron. You know, they, they're, they're speaking lies. It is a whole act, a whole show is being put up. And like I said, the Most High, the Most High brings in, he, he brings in a whole multitude. The whole multitude is being deceived by the, the madness that this man is teaching, man. What's teaching? What he stands for, what these people believe. It goes on. Um, oh no, that's already the key point that I made, man. Jumping back to the book of Ezekiel. So, and if the prophets be deceived, when he had spoken the thing, I, the Lord, have deceived the prophet, yeah, because the deceiver and the deceived are his. The most high is causing you to be in this estate. The Lord has you in a trick bag. Thinking that you serve him while you deny the heavenly father's beloved son, the savior. And being so convinced that you speak in a condescending way towards others that are, that are, so, that are sinners. That you say like they, they're sinners, they're going to burn in hell. Yo, man. <laughs> it's fearful, man. You look, you look at it and you think about it and it's fearful. It's fearful to be in a state like this. And then you look at the whole, this whole congregation, this amount, and they're predominantly females, walking, being deceived, as how Eve was deceived in the garden. The same thing is taking place right now. Many of these females are getting easily misled, going along with the doctrine, and they don't research, man. They're not, they're not in the spirit of the Church of Berry, where they research and go into the scriptures. They don't, they don't do these things. It just sounds great. It sounds good. They go along with it. And then they ride along, they ride along, they ride along, but they don't go into the to the research of scriptures, the understanding of what is being taught. 
I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet and will stretch out my hand upon him that is taking place right now with Web the News and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, which is taking place right now. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. And who are the ones that seeketh unto Reb the News? That's his congregation. That's these people on the comment board. Khan, Khan, yeah, yeah. All praises to the Most High God. Cutting off your house shy. All praise to the Most High God. Stay strong. The will of the, all, the God Almighty is above all and is righteous. Denying Yahweh Shai, man. Denying Yahweh Shai. They are convinced that they're doing the right thing, but they're not doing the right thing. They're snared. They're being. They, they're tricked. You know, they they're snared in the in the wiles of the devil, man. This is one of the examples of the wiles of the devil. So only by truth, only by telling them what the real word of the Most High is. They can be saved. Because it's a whole multitude, man. Let's get that scripture where it speaks about um, the subvert whole houses. Let's get that, man. In the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse... Um, let's start at verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as it had been taught. How, how did we learn it? From the elder apostles from Great Millstone. We hold on to that. We don't add, we don't mix... We don't, we don't come up with other bugged out doctrines like how you saw a shy tried and, and refined. Learning and then breaking off and coming up with your, your own bugged out madness. That he may be able by sound doctrine. Sound doctrine is without mixture. You don't teach no bugged out madness saying that Esau is not the bad devil that is ruling right now upon this earth. You don't teach no bugged out madness the hell doctrine where, where you got people burning forever. You don't teach no madness about people are, are, are all sinners are going to burn over them, that there's no mercy. You don't teach no madness about Yahweh Shai not being the Redeemer, the Mediator, and that you cannot be cleansed from your sins to the blood of Yahweh Shai. You don't teach no madness like that, man. That's not sound doctrine. The same thing is how you deny Yahweh Shai. You don't have the spirit of prophecy, man. So you don't go into prophecy. People are not being protected, warmed. And, and, and shielded and prepared for the end day, the last, the last days, the hour of temptation. What are these people are going to do? This man might even have taken the, 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 the juicy, juicy man. Even though, even though, because I just clicked on the video concerning, concerning his, uh, his daughter made an upload video. I couldn't hear it because it was too, the volume was too low. I couldn't follow it. But if a person, a person is in, in this mindset and you're not warning the people about the mark of the beast, you're not protecting them from the walls, the way how the devil is moving and laying snares, what is this congregation going to do? Are they going to listen to another camp? Are they, are they listening to multiple camps? You know, the scripture speaks about a double-minded man is unstable. And that's the, that's the case with a lot of these females, man. They just, they just camp up and they listen to this, they listen to that. I, they agree with this. Oh, now he's no longer, he's, he's, he's in a critical condition. Who is going to feed us now? Hungry sheeps. But they've been fed some GMO, GMO food for quite some time. Conditionized to the GMO garbage that has been fed. So now what are they doing? Waiting, sitting, not being fed, starving out? Or are they going to look for another place to get, to get, to get some get some pasture to get that green you know man holding fast the faithful word as it has been given that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince gainsayers and we are convincing gainsayers we are showing you like yo you better get right you better repent you better remove yourself from that congregation that congregation that is leading towards destruction man that congregation that is going to lead towards destruction man Let's go back to this uh, to the book of Philippians. The book of Philippians. If I I don't know if I completely brought it out, because he is the enemy, the enemy of the cross, and you don't want to be the enemy of the cross, man. It says it here. For many shall walk in eighteen. For many shall walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross, 
whose end is destruction, whose power is their belly. The Most High is his belly. He is not serving Yahweh Bashim Yashah. He is not serving the Almighty Power. He is serving his own belly. It says, and whose glory is in the shame, who mind earthly things. You see, this man is not in the Lord, man. He is not, he is not coming up in the right way. Like how it is said in the book of, uh, let me get a quick piece up about that, in the book of John chapter 10. He ain't coming up in the right way. Uh, John 10 verse 1, Fairly, fairly, I say unto you, He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbed up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. The Lord, the Lord calls this man a thief and a robber. He is not reaching Yahweh, true Yahweh Shai. He is not entering to the door, Yahweh Shai, John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai is the door, the passage towards the Most High. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opened, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth uh, his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he put it forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. You see this? This is, this is the importance of following and knowing Yahweh Shai, our chief shepherd, man. And a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, for they understood not what things they were, which he had spoken unto them. Oh, man. And that's the case with a lot of these, with, with these females as well, man. They don't understand that they right now walking in the way of a thief and a robber, man. He, he, and let me read on because he's going to explain it. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them again, Fairly, fairly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Yahweh Shai is the door of the sheep. He is our chief shepherd. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. You see? But you have, you have sheep, you know, sheeple. In this say in this in this in this case who are being misled you know conducting themselves as goats they're walking upon the road of the goat the goat way the goat style you know and it's not the greatest of all time that i'm talking about i'm talking about the left hand side that which is leading towards the structure man i am the door by me if any man enter he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find past you will find the truth the word going back to john uh jeremiah 3 and 15 the knowledge and the understanding which is being fed by the by the heart by the will of the most high it says the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy but i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly yahweh shai the physician is healing us man because we need healing we all need healing man but people like this are not healing man like i said but you have the failure of the dry bones where people need life they need to be quickened and people like a Reb the news who's teaching people uh that the yahweh shai is not the redeemer and all all the other examples of his bugged out doctrine is actually uh, uh uh pulling off the meat which we're putting back on our people the spirit that we're putting back in our people he's actually taking it all and destroying our people again man the book of titus chapter 1 first uh first ten. For there are many unruly and faint talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Which means, especially they that know the Israelites. They're teaching things. Like you got you got all type of bugged out doctrines, man. You got you got some teaching that a male, the uh, humans had sex with, with angels and then you had the giants. You have the mermaids. You, you, you got, you got, you got a, 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 a doctrine where we're speaking about that, that planet Niburu. Uh, 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 uh. the doctrine concerning ease or not being not being the devil that is ruling upon this earth you know Esau, Esaudi Esau, the, uh, Esau the Arabians like you got so many so many crazy crazy bogged out doctrines man doctrines where, where they teach that Edomites can be saved you got the hell doctrine you got the trinity doctrine you got so many so many bogged out things man you know so many bugged out things man whose mouth must be stopped they, they need to be prevented from continuing with the madness that they do they need to be prevented from causing more pollution and destruction upon our people here we are healing and there you have them occupied and destroying and being convinced that they're doing the right thing and then they have the audacity to even speak evil about you man 
in this video that I saw, I saw, I saw him saying all type of shit like sissy, pussy, shit, pussy, sissy. Yo. But then you, you speak evil about the true men of the Lord that are doing the true works of the Most High. Whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not to teach, which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And many, many take the money. Many are under the 504C301 uh, uh, agreement. Wherewith they, wherewith they are being instructed in what to say, what to teach, wherewith they cannot prevent others, I said that they can get money, money tax free. So they do these things for money, all for the Benjamins, all for the money, money, money. You know the song from uh, what is it, Mia? It's all about money. It's all about the money. But that's it with a lot of people on this earth, man. It's all about money. They don't care. They're hirelings, man. They don't care about the state of their flock. They don't care about the what is going to happen with, with the sheep. They don't care about that, man. Let's get another scripture, man. In the book of, um, uh, what is it? In Second uh, Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse, uh, yeah, verse 26. Let me read up a little bit. 25. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the most high peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. That's what we do. We're teaching, and that's why we make these videos, man. We're telling you, better get right, repent, remove yourself from that from that uh, wicked uh, congregation and those wicked doctrines, man. Because that's not going to save you, man. The only the only thing that can save you is sound doctrine, man. The sound teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. In the book of First Timothy, chapter four, I believe it's the last verse. It says, "Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine which is sound doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee." So, if you teach a sound doctrine, the right way, without mixture, according to the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit of the Most High, you will save not only yourself but also they that believe and walk in that same right sound doctrine. So that's the thing that we're doing right now. The people that have been misled into the into into a mixed doctrine, into a bugged out doctrine, in, on the on on a thought and onto uh, um, that which is leading towards destruction, they are right now in a, in a in a situation where they can receive the right instructions. You know, they can receive the possibility of repenting and acknowledging the truth, the word of the Most High, the truth getting cleansed from from the wrong the wrongs that they did and the wrongs that they were convinced in man what is it john 17 let's get that john 17 and 17 sanctify them to thy truth thy word is truth you see we gotta cleanse you from those uh 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 uh, uh bugged out uh, strongholds man let's get that those bugged out strongholds which 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 capture a lot of our people man a lot of our people are being snared by the the, the wiles, the trickery, the, the the strongholds of 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 the wicked man. It says in the book of Second Corinthians chapter ten verse four, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, breaking down the understanding and giving you the understanding and exposing the lie concerning the hell doctrine is what we do. You can look up, get on the internet, research man. Look up all these things, listen to the videos and get understanding, man. The scripture says, by any means, get understanding. The principal thing, get wisdom and get understanding. Get that oil, be those wise virgins. Don't be those foolish virgins. Undergo what you need to do in order to be prepared for the destruction that the Lord is about to bring, man. Pulling down strongholds. When you, when you teach that the Redeemer is not the beloved son of the Most High, when you teach that he is not a mediator, when you teach that you you can just deny him, deny his existence, or how you, however you portray him, man, I don't even know how you portray him. You just show utter disrespect towards Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. And then they look up strange when calamities are falling upon them, and then they ask that the daughter is asking to pray. You asking those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yashai to pray unto a power which you trying to receive or trying to reach by not showing 
uh, uh, respect unto his beloved son. We are not, we are not worshiping the same, the same thing. We ain't worshiping the same thing. You seem to think that you worship a power that you can reach without reaching the middleman. That's not that's not the same. That's not our doctrine. That's not our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob can only be reached to his beloved son. So if people teach things like calling upon all the all, all praise to the most the most the most high God, to you denying the Redeemer, it shows you that we are not worshiping the same the same the same uh, uh, um, the same forces, man. The same power. You worshiping something that is an idol. You are not worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yishai out of the scriptures. You are worshiping an idol, because the true power can only be reached through His beloved Son, and that's a fact, you know, a biblical fact. So casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, because you got people who create their own their own beliefs and their own their own uh, truth so to say according to them it is a truth that you can reach the most type which but it goes against the bible man you know and and let me say this let me get this quick, quickly man in the book of uh what is it second timothy second timothy 3 verse uh verse 16 all scripture is given by the inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, you know, perfected, cleansed unto all good works. So we're getting cleansed to the word of the Most High and the word all is being inspired by the Heavenly Father, man. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. We got to go according to the program of the Most High. And not according to the program of a man who calls himself Rep the News. You know, not respecting the ways of the Heavenly Father, just making up your own thing, denying the beloved Son. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. That's what the Lord did by casting Reb the News down. He was exalting himself against the knowledge of the Most High. He made up his own thing and thought it would stand, but it's not standing. It's casted down by the Most High. It says, in bringing it into captivity, Every thought to the obedience of the Messiah, you need to obey. You don't want to obey, then you will get destroyed. That's how it goes. You don't want to go according to the program. You want to fight against the Most High. You want to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You will lose, man. You are not going to stamp and continue doing whatever you think that is right and keep offending the Lord over and over and over and think that nothing is going to happen, man. So now that you see what is happening with Web the News, the congregation, hey, the this video is a message to the congregation. You better, you better, you better wake up. You better wake up. Awake, it's, it's, let's get that scripture, man. In the book of uh, um, Romans, they need to wake up. And if you don't want to wake up, you know, you want to stay asleep. And the Heavenly Father is going to put your lights out completely, man. He will remove your candle. He will, he will, he will. He will, he will lift up your spirit, man. You know? In the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing now uh, the time, that it's high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It's now high time to wake up, man. Wake up. So again, um, casting down every imagination and every, and every high thing that exalted himself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Mashiach and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do understand what is coming, man. You really think that this is, this is already horrible? This is merely the beginning of all that the Lord is about to unleash, man. If you don't want to get right, you can expect way more heavy things, man. Our people, the scripture speaks about how, how stubborn and how stiff-necked our people are, man. What does it what does it what does it take for our people to understand? Get right. Stop stop playing these games, man. Stop playing these games. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 1, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon thy feet that I heard him that spake unto me. 
And he said unto me, Son of man, I sent thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that had rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. Even unto this very day, you have a lot of our people coming up with, with bugged out doctrines, staying in it, being without fear towards the Most High, ordering the most perverse mad things. Fopi was, was one of the last prime examples of just total madness, man. Rebelling, being stiff-necked, you know, being just, just, just being wicked, man. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus say the Lord Power. We keep telling you what the Most High said. People might think that this is a this is a this is a, a, a personal thing. No, this thing is just this is just biblical business, man. We about the business of the Most High. We telling you what is written in the Scriptures. You know, you might have people saying things like, "Yeah, leave this man alone. He's already sick." No, man. We are not here to spare the feelings of people. We are here to tell you what the Lord says and what we need to say. What needs to be brought over to the people. You get right, you might receive the mercy of the Lord. You don't want to get right, you're going to face destruction. So that you cannot say like, man, why these things happen? You, you heard the message, you heard why destruction came. And you received the chance to get right. That's the compassion, that's, let's get it, man. That's the compassion of the Most High. In the book of, uh, what is it, First Chronicles? Was it First Chronicles or Second Chronicles? It's it's Second Chronicles. We ain't living in days where you can just uh, play and and just continue with the madness, man. We're living in that serious times, man. You better get right, man. The book of Second Chronicles, thirty-six, verse fifteen, and the Lord Jehovah, power of the Father, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes. The prophets are sent. Be times before the destruction comes, you get warned. You know, you receive chastisement. Those that have been doing wickedly, scoffing, scorning, you know, blaspheming, offending, offending them, true man of the Lord, offending the Heavenly Father, offending and making naught of the Redeemer. You can expect grievous things upon your path, man. And it's also for the congregation. Don't think that you're just listening and you, you can't, can't, can't. Yeah, oh, beautiful lesson, brother. That you are excluded because you're agreeing with something that is offensive offensive unto the most. I do understand, man. And sending because he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. The most has compassion. He has mercy on his people. And by mercy, because of his mercy, he is sending the prophets towards you to tell you accordingly. But what did they do unto the prophets? They mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. This this is how it's going to work, man. You know, we keep telling, man, we, we, we are on that watchtower. We keep, we keep, you know, there's no rest. We keep sounding the alarm. We keep prophesying. We keep instructing. We keep teaching our people, repent, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. We keep telling you the gospel. We keep telling you, hey, we've been piping for quite some time and the people have not been mourning, they have not been dancing onto what we've been giving them. So the Lord, the Lord, the, there's a time and place for everything. When the Lord is done playing, done with warning you, now the hammer comes down, now, now the destruction is coming. And when the destruction is coming, the crying starts. And when the crying starts, now everybody needs to pray for a person who is not taking heed. Who was making naught of the Redeemer, who was blaspheming, who was showing hate towards the prophets that was doing the right thing. They that were showing you love, that the love got answered by hate. Shrewd answers. A scripture pops up to my mind, man. You know? The book of Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under the feet and turn again and rent you. They don't appreciate what we do. They don't understand what we do and what the Lord is actually doing for them. They don't show any form of appreciation by the mercy for the mercy that the Heavenly Father is extending unto them because they simply don't understand the mercy and the compassion that is being extended unto them through the true prophets, man. So going back to Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 2 verse, uh, verse 5, 
and they better they will hear or better they will forbear for they are rebellious a rebellious house yet shall know that there had been a prophet amongst them we prophesy you you take heed or you don't take heed but we did our part man you don't want to believe it in the end you're going to see like they were the prophets if this man will make it he will go to the spiritual realm and he will see Yahweh sitting on the right side of the most high but he will not be in a position to tell his congregation like man i was wrong i was wrong what are those people going to do when this man dies man where are they going to look for 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 the for the for the uh uh, uh for the feeding of 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 the flock where are they gonna go this is the time to understand you better leave that congregation you better leave the gmo polluted a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, food that he was feeding you and leading you towards a structure man it says and thou son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words though briars and thorns be with thee and thou dwellest among scorpions be not afraid of their words be not dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house because you got you got many of them who really think when they speak they speak disrespectful about the true man of the lord calling calling the man a sissy you know speaking speaking most disrespectful about the apostles you listen and you just you just with with the fear towards the lord you understand that these are men that went through things they have experienced they're still standing they're still pushing the word and a person of 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 small understanding and no fear towards the lord is 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 capable of making a statements without any form of fear without without even considering what type of consequences can come forth out of saying such things man a true a, a, a man of understanding is going to sit and think like is it wise to speak so things could it be could it could it be is there a slight chance that these are the men of the lord you're not just going to say some madness man but you just research you study you observe you analyze a person you analyze what a person is teaching you look at what the person is doing and with that you can understand you can discern who is who the scripture speaks about man uh let me let, let me go to the book of first peter or uh, what is it first john first john 4 first john chapter 4 first uh first one believe beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirit whether they are of the most high because many false prophets are gone out into the world you got to test them hereby you know the spirit of the most high every spirit that confesses that jehovah has come in the flesh is of the most high and every spirit that confesses not that jehovah is come in the flesh is not of the most high and this is the spirit of the antichrist but what ye have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world ye are of the most high little children and overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you see and we got the spirit of Yahweh Shai, a conqueror inside of us if you deny the redeemer like i said the enemy of the cross you are not in the most high you are the antichrist that's the the, the it, it is an antichrist doctrine that he's teaching an antichrist doctrine is it has no mercy because the mercy is being extended to the redeemer it is a merciless cold destructive doctrine a hopeless doctrine where is his hope what is his faith what is his foundation man what is his foundation what is his what is his hope who is going to save him man what kind of hey man <laughs> what kind of doctrine is this man and the crazy thing is you see how many fuse how many fuse they have man and that shows you man again the Lord is only coming for a small remnant, man. The broad way, the broad way is leading towards destruction. Look at how many views these videos have, man. How many people coming on the comment board? Khan, Khan, Khan. Khan, Khan, Khan. Good lesson, brother. A outstanding lesson, brother. All praises to the Most High God. Like, look at the amount of views that you see on these videos, man. But the people are being misled. And when you scroll to the videos, you don't see no, you see, you don't see no edification concerning, concerning uh, uh, the prophecy, man. What about the mark of the beast? Can you take the microchip? What's going to happen if you take the microchip? Crazy shit, man. 
crazy shit. But hey, let me go back to the book of uh, of Second Timothy chapter two verse um, verse twenty six. Read, read 25 again in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves if the most high peradventure will give them repentance to acknowledge the, to the acknowledgement the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out the snares of the devil this is an example of the snares of the devil his doctrine his mixed doctrine is it's not sound doctrine it's mixed doctrine who are taken captive by him at his will so it's our purpose by the truth to, to deliver you out of these snares, out of these nets. And if you're wise, you will take heed. You will listen. Pray unto the Most High, man. Pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yishai, that He will open your eyes and that He will deliver you out of the snares which this which the devil is using because this is not the way. You know, the, 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 the mixed doctrine that He's teaching you is not the way. It's not going to save you from what is yet about to come upon this earth, man. You know? So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna just end it like that, man. This is this this uh, this already good enough, man. You know, I'm not gonna make it too long fit. The key things have been brought out. The message towards the congregation is, uh, the the congregation of Web the News is repent, remove yourself from that that uh, that bogged out doctrine. You know, start walking and obtaining the truth out of the scriptures, and get saved. You know, believe in the Redeemer because the Redeemer is the only way how you can reach the Most High. Let no one convince you in, in some mad things like the Redeemer is not important. The Redeemer is not, is, you can just exclude the Redeemer. This is, this, is, this is just next level madness, man. Next level madness, man. So, hey, Shalom.